Hey, I am the rock goddess Dawn Dyer, and I am here with OJ from Byzantine at Metal in the Mountain. Yes. Holy crap, what about this place, man? It is nice. <laughs> I did a, not expect this it's in magical southern mountains. West Virginia. Yeah, yeah. I think they got a good thing here. They do. It's beautiful here. Yeah. You should come. You should. You should. So... How did you like your experience on stage today? You didn't get rained out, so that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, you know what? The rain came right when we started bringing our equipment on stage. Like, it looked really nice all the way up till when we were getting ready to load our, uh, <laughs> can we cuss? Yeah. Load our shit out of, uh, onto the stage. <clears throat> the rain came, and it uh, shut us down for about half an hour. Uh, we had to turn everything off because there's some thunder and lightning. Mm -hmm. But that is just a safeguard, so nobody gets uh, nobody gets electrocuted. But you no, know what? Don't it, want electrocution? No, it it's worked in our favor because it gave everybody a little bit of breather. Yeah, uh, time for it was for really their, hot right before was. that. Yeah, so yeah, and it gave us uh, an extra thirty minutes to set up our stuff. Nice. So yeah, <laughs> we went on, and everybody was swampy. <laughs> And yeah, it was nice. very yeah. swampy. We played, I'm uh, still kind of swampy, actually. <laughs> it's kind of humid right here on this couch. It is a little a little humid. Yeah. So what do you have going on after this? Um, tomorrow we're playing in Morgantown, West Virginia. we got a headline on set. Um, we only have about 13 performances scheduled this year. Wow. Um, I have a baby coming in September. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cranking them out. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. But I always tell bands, like, oh, babies make it so that it's very hard to tour. And It is. But we're, you know, Byzantine is such a domesticated band. Um, this will be my third child. Oh, so, no. um That's a good thing, though. Yeah. Oh, I, I They're mean, fun. They make, they make this whole uh, living thing yeah. awesome. And, uh, you know, we're all a little uh, older in the tooth. And uh, so we all have good jobs, and we have uh, family life, so we kind of work the band around it. Well, so that's cool, uh, though. Yeah. So this year, we scheduled 13 shows. Next year, uh, we'll probably do some more tour touring. Uh, we toured some last year. We did a full U.S. tour with uh, Sacred Reich. Um, really? Yep. Yeah. The Sacred Reich? The Sacred Reich. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it was us and Sacred Reich. Uh, we started in, uh, we had we played a warm-up show in Pittsburgh uh, with Baroness and then had to drive all the way to Los Angeles and start the tour. So, yeah. That's a long drive. Yeah, yeah. It was <laughs> stupid. <laughs> always, always plan some in between. Yeah. We actually <laughs> lost a van on that tour. So... Oh, no. Yeah, we got it all the way to Toronto and blew the engine, and I had to just fucking leave it. So Something about bands and vans. Yeah. They're just not a good thing. It's not, but you can't really tour in like a, like a Prius, you yeah. know? You could. And uh, we could do a... <laughs> <laughs> you could. Yeah. It'd be interesting. I'd have to, I'd have to fire some motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> or have everybody bring their own. <laughs> Four, four Priuses. <laughs> you have a convoy of Priuses. Yeah. Priya. Can what's, you what's the, uh, what is the plural of sure. Prius? I'm not sure. Can you tell that it's a little bit late? I think it's just <laughs> it's Prius. It might uh, just be Prius. We're kind of slap happy right now. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Oh, goodness. So, um, you're, are you, you're from West Virginia? Yeah. yeah. I'm from, uh, yeah, I'm from Southern West Virginia. This is, uh. You have a pretty accent. Well, thank you. I Thank do you. not. <laughs> I do not. Um, yeah, uh, a lot of times, you know, uh, people don't know that Byzantine, like if you don't know Byzantine is from West Virginia and then you see me at a show and then I open my mouth, mm -hmm. they're like, whoa, is that the same guy? But, you know, I, I grew up listening to like Testament mm -hmm. and Anthrax and uh, John Bush and so I kind of formulated my singing style towards people who didn't live here. So when I sing, um, I'm almost mimicking the guys I grew up on. Uh, Phil Anselmo, you know, Kyle, uh, Kyle Thomas from Exhorter is one of my biggest uh, influences. So because I knew that if I sang with a twang, it really <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't get us country? anywhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I kind of thought it would be a hindrance. So uh, Well, there's all those European bands that you would never know. No, you'd never know. You'd ne until they open their mouth to talk. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, 
The scorpions. Yeah. Straight German. Total. Yeah. Uh, you got Meshuggah and Opeth and all those guys, and they sing perfect English. <laughs> I'm aging myself. <laughs> yeah. Scorpions. You went scorpions. <laughs> I did. I went scorpions. <laughs> But so, you went Sacred Reich, so yeah. So we're yeah, both it's okay. We're we're both. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. People so watch do you this. have new music coming soon? No. Uh, <clears throat> we we released our last album in 2017 on Metal Blade Records. Then it should be time, shouldn't it? Well, it should be, and I'm sure Metal Blade is going to be knocking on my door in the next couple months, asking me where's the demos. But <laughs> I'm going to we, you know the last three albums we've pumped them out every two years, mm -hmm. which for us. Um, is was pretty quick. There's I really cycles are fast. Yeah, and uh, I'm at the point now where I'm kind of burnt out on the riffage, so I want to let some life happen. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking I might add another year, and instead of do a two year album cycle, this one will be a three, and give me a little bit more time to recharge my batteries. I think a three year. I I, I liked it better when it was a three year cycle. Yeah, yeah. Now it's like everybody's so like, everybody, and you know as well as I do, like. Just because you release uh, an album every two years, that doesn't mean like there's right. a full two year gap. Right. That means you, uh, you know, a, a year before that you started working mm -hmm. on it. I don't. I, I need some time. So, so, do you write along the way, or do you wait until you have to record something? I typically shut it down. I shut it down, and then um, uh, whenever it comes time to start being creative, I kind of crank it back up fire up my pro tools and and start uh you know holding myself up in the the little studio and then the creativity starts so i'll normally shut it down for a full year or or two and not even listen to very much current really? current music no i don't listen to a lot of current music so i'm not, so influenced, you're not by influenced by it. yeah gotcha. yeah yeah so so your influences were you already told me your singing influences but um do you have a favorite <clears throat> newer band I mean, I realize that you're probably not listening right now, but... Right. Um, no, I, I've just started getting into the Spotify um, thing. Not. I'm Rock Rage Radio. We don't like Spotify. Oh, okay. <laughs> you're good. So. I just like to correct everybody. Yeah. I'm like, I don't like Spotify. <laughs> so I, I just started getting into that and, and started letting... Um, like it choose what I listen to. So I'm hearing a lot of things that I've never heard before because I don't go seek. Um, but typically the bands that I listen to now, they're not even very heavy. I listen to a lot of progressive music like Catatonia, nice. Porcupine Tree, but I'm, I'm very stuck in eighties pop rock. I love that. Though. Yeah. That's Depeche amazing. Mode, uh, the fix tears for fears, hollow Jeez. notes. That's, that's where my jam's at. So we're right about now. the same age. Yeah. Stop. Yeah, we okay. are. We're not telling people that I'm 30. I'm staying <laughs> I'm, that age I'm forever. way older than you. Forever. I'm yeah. staying that age forever. But no, I, I grew up on, you know, I grew up on, on uh, Anthrax and Megadeth and Metallica and Testament, the big four. And, and then I, my mom was cool enough uh, when her and my father divorced when I was in junior high and I was going through a tough time. So she decided to buy a record store for me because she knew that I was into music. Really? Kind of helped me to get through the transition. That's cool. Yeah. So she let me pick all the music, and I was in this small southern town, West Virginia. And I had this book, and I was just picking stuff I'd never heard That's before. That's so cool. Oh, Pantera, never heard of that. Annihilator. Who's Wrathchild America? So we filled the store with all this stuff, and she closed in like eight months because <laughs> we were in fucking West Virginia. But I got all this crazy. You got lots of amazing music. Yeah, I was like, oh, that's Sepultura. Never heard of that. Wow. So I was lucky when I was in high school to like get inundated with that. And that's where I was able to start developing um, kind of a, you know, a path for what I've been doing the last two plus decades. Now you aged yourself, though. Yeah. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> All right. Um, so when you have new music, you must make sure I get it. Uh, yeah, totally. Totally will. Totally. Because I will spin the hell out of it. Thank you. Because I'm a crazy person. Yeah. <laughs> crazy people like Byzantine. That's right. You know what? I'm just a music person. Awesome. I actively hunt down music. Good. But I'm a weirdo. Yeah. It's okay. So do you have anything else that you want to tell everyone? Did I mention I have a baby coming? Did I yeah, mention you did. Okay. No, yeah, you no. Did. Do you know if it's a boy or a girl? You know what? 
I'm the only person who knows. Really? My uh, my girlfriend, uh, she, she we we have a two year old, a mm-hmm. daughter. So the last one, she said, I don't I don't want to know. I just want to be. I just want to like have a gender reveal. And I was like, you mean at the time? Like, she's like, yeah. I'm not much of a, a surprise person, so I asked them, can you slip me the note? And uh, they let me know. So this time we're doing the same thing. So I am the only person on earth who knows what we're getting ready to have, and uh, I am like a a steel trap. Are you happy? Yeah, I'm super happy. Okay. Yeah, super happy. That's it's good. it's healthy. It's so, healthy. Yeah. That's all that matters. It's all that matters. Ten of everything, everything yeah. where it's supposed to be. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to let you go because there's lots more music still out there. Yeah, yeah. We we got, I think uh, there's one more band right now getting ready to headline the second stage. And then we have uh, Chelsea Grimm, or Grin, oh, Chelsea right. Grimm is getting ready to headline the main stage today. So come down tomorrow. Check yeah, it out. Come tomorrow. It's going to be holy shit. Yeah. Starts at like 11 o'clock tomorrow. Yeah, there's a lot of bands tomorrow. But uh, we also got the big hitters. We got Unearth and we got um, uh, All That Remains. So mm-hmm. tomorrow's going to be a good good show. No. I appreciate you very much for taking time. Well, to thank talk you to for me. hanging out with me. It was really nice to talk to you. You too. Thank you. I appreciate it.